And a very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Lightning TV. It's Sunday night. It's hockey night down here in Milton Keynes at the Milton Keynes Arena. Milton Keynes Lightning, of course, and the visitors tonight are the Nottingham Panthers. And as referee Thompson gets ready to get this game underway. And here we go. Alex now with the face off, loses out that time. Left hand side, Nottingham come again. Great pace from this Nottingham side, really, really move this puck around really, really well. Shot coming in from Lee. Into the leg of Meadle, but Golovkov's again. Backhands that. Hit comes in and Armstrong goes to have a word and Armstrong just introduces himself. So Nelson Armstrong, he's been in the UK or he's been wearing a lightning shirt for all the 12 minutes and he's dropped the gloves already. I think that's Robert Farmer he's uh, he's having a go with. Gets a loud cheer and a welcome. I'm pretty sure that's going to be called a late hit. Here come Panthers again. Pitha. Goes all the way to centre, gets a shot away, but it's wide to the left hand side. It's gone up to 20 seconds to go. Wallace now just calms things down. Valdix goes cross ice to Wallace. 10 seconds to go now in this first period. Wallace just drops it down to Valdix. Five seconds to go. Tries to get the stick onto Morbeck. Morbeck takes the shot and he has got the tip just on the buzzer. But what it does mean is at the end of the first 20 minutes here in Milton Keynes, it's Milton Keynes lining nil, Nottingham Panthers nil, it's all square. Lining win that again, comes back to the point. Clay Anderson goes for a little skate, fine ways patiently. Wallace is over there again, long shift, but opportunity here. We're down to the last five seconds. The, stack, the stick of Colleen taps on the ice. Wallace again. Can't quite get over there, and Baldrick couldn't get a stick on that. Neely was waiting patiently. It's five on four. 42 seconds remaining on this penalty. Good killing so far by Nottingham. Anderson waits over on the blue line again. Neely gives it to Fine. Not a shot comes in, Anderson, but he actually hit Neely on the back of the leg that time. Wallace, the shot comes in, and that's a goal. It's Eric Neely, taps it in on the line. And Lightning go one up. It's a power play goal. That'll bring Nottingham Panthers back to full strength. Good work by Lightning that time. Got it nice and patient. Comes all the way out. Anderson takes a shot. Hit Neely on the back. Baldex. Because Wallace are coming with a shot and then. Sorry, Michael. Wallace are coming with a shot and it was Neely that taps away. Good initial save by Michael Garnett. It's a 1-0 game. We're halfway through. 9.49 remaining in this second period. Lightning take the lead. Five on five, of course, now. Power play goal for Lightning. Henderson. Armstrong will chase that down. He's got Henderson for company. Armstrong picks it up. Goes around the boards. Just comes off the stick of Meadle, I think that was that time. Golovsky got to get it back to Meadle. Griffiths with a shot and couldn't quite get it. It's another goal! Running Meadle! Within a couple of minutes, Lightning make it 2 nothing. Great play, Griffiths gets the shots off, it didn't quite get there, but it was following up and it was Meadle that just got the back end on that. Just went underneath. Michael Garnett, it's a 2-0 game. 9-17 remaining in this second period. Lightning fans in the arena trying to catch their breaths now. Five 
Tied around the boards by Lannan. Bounces off Garnet's stick. Wallace down there to pick it up this time. Here come Panthers. Neutralised, just flicked up, goes really high. Lannan will pick it up on the boards. Takes a hit for his troubles. Makovic puts that deep. The shot comes in and Lapine that was with initial shot. Traffic in front of Colleen. Now it breaks to a lightning stick and it's Wallace now. Goes backhand, just clears his zone and Neely now wearing another plaster on his nose. Just drops it in and can't quite get in there! And it's 3-0! Three, three I think that was Radic Beadle again. Was no Michael Fine. I think that was that time. Eight thirty-seven remaining in this second period. Great play by Eric Neely, who's just wearing more and more plasters on his uh, on his nose. Michael Fine with the goal. Armstrong. Wallace. Great work by Lakovic there. He just picked the pocket of uh, Tim Wallace. Great stick work. Clean. Lakovic will pick that up. Five on four, of course. Lakovic goes to ground. Puck gets trapped on the boards. Wallace lost sight of that for a second, but goes back this time to Clay Anderson. Wallace starts to circle. His lightning look to go again. Great play and flicked across, right away across Michael Fine now. Valdix. Needy once again looking to provide some traffic in the high slot. He's there! That's number four! This is inspired stuff by Lining. Right behind the goal. Eric Neely in the slot. Just taps home. Great play again on the power play course. Valdix, Michael Fine goes backhand. Eric Neely is there in space. Thank you very much. Power play goal. Panthers back to full strength. Panthers. Mazinets, great pass. Golovkovs gives that to Anderson. Anderson will go for a bit of a skate, gives it to Meadle. That time round, the Panthers stick came in. Panthers still looking to make something happen. Still dangerous, of course. Ten seconds remaining. In. And Billingsley gets a shot across. Drops in. Mazines is there in the middle of the slot just to pick it up. <laughs> Neely now. Drops in. Just toe drags. And he's hit from behind and nothing called. And here we go. Looks like is uh, Anderson's going to drop the gloves, and that's with Lapine this time, and that's been coming. And Lapine obviously gets the takedown, couple of couple of punches. Let's have a quick look at the hit. 4:33 to go. Nearly through. It looked like someone came in from behind there, and it's. And that's the reason why they dropped the gloves there. Anderson took exception from the uh, to the hit from Lapine. And this looks like it could get tasty. And Valdex will go and Golovkos will go and try and give him a bit of support. Less than 10 seconds now. And Valdex will just look to keep possession for Lightning. Five seconds to go. He'll just keep an eye on the clock. And as the buzzer goes. Great noise from the Lightning faithful. At the end of that second period, it's Milton Keynes Lightning 4, Nottingham Panthers 0. Good period of pressure by Nottingham. Not out of this game by any shakes of the imagination yet. Rizzling across and down they go, centre ice. Great pass onto the skate and they move again and Lightning trying to get numbers back. Dangerous period for Lightning this. Biggs over in the corner. And there's their own, the two number 12s, Armstrong and Biggs. 
Morris tries to dig that out. This time he does. Comes to Fine. He's got Neely for support. Final just throwed out there and not a shot comes in and Neely jumped the puck and Garnet got his right pillow to that. Griggers. Fine ties it up for him. Farmer doing the chasing for Nottingham. Broken stick litters the ice. Terrible pass. He just turns it straight over. Opportunity now. And they'll be angry with that. Nottingham pull one back. Luke Pither. It was Farmer that lunged onto the loose puck and it was a wayward pass. And they won't be at all happy with that. And something easy at the end of the day. You just don't give Nottingham those kind of opportunities. And Patrick Colleen there won't be happy with that at all. Less than 10 minutes to go in this final period now. Still a long way to go. It can all change. Lannan. Billingsley. Numbers again for Panthers. Goes high backhand and nothing called by the officials. And one of the Panthers went down, but there was nothing called. A bit more pushing and shoving now. Frustration starting to boil over. Shot came in after the whistle, but I don't think that was intentional. Bit of hugging going on. Ryan Lannan there doing the, the hugging. Up to with a couple of gloved hands into the face. Just a bit of a face wash. Not entirely sure what's going to be called there, but one of the uh, Panthers players did go down. I don't know whether that was a stick puck or, or whatever, but... Uh, Face off outside of the zone, nothing called by the officials this time. Billingsley. Yeah, after the puck had gone there, crowd looking for something called. Cool. Billingsley again. This time round, the Nottingham fans are looking for a call. Anderson flicks that down. Challenge from Biggs. Rosling takes a hit from Hounsom. Rosling and Hounsom having words. And Hounsom drops the gloves. Here we go again. Young James Hounsom, 19 years old, six foot four. For a young lad, he's a big unit, but I'm not entirely sure he's picked the right fight here. Taken a few hits, and in the end he goes down. Suffered a cut to his eye last night, and I've got a feeling that may have opened up again. But you know what? He gave it a go. Nottingham fans just waving him goodbye as he went off the ice to get a bit of treatment. Head coach Rich Chernamaz with 2.24 to go has gone with the option to open up the, uh, the additional skater, so it's an empty net for Nottingham. They'll look to put pressure on now, but an opportunity maybe for lining if the puck is free. Fired around the dashes, Colleen will get there first. But he'll look to possibly take that shot and Henderson now. First shot comes in, clean, right pad save on that one. Opportunity now, Wallace fires it down. He goes into the goal! Tim Wallace with 2-0-2 remaining makes it a 5-1 game. Miles abound for Milton Keynes lining. Puck broke round the boards, it broke to Tim Wallace. He skated into space and just beyond the outstretched stick of the Panthers defenseman.
Garnett goes back in goal for this face-off. It's a 5-1 game, exactly two minutes to go. Lee now, he's just going to fire it around the boards. Colleen will let that go that time round. Armstrong will pick it up. Now Golovkov's now, opportunity. Goes short and goes high. The only other thing with Golovkov's one day is once he gets these goals, he's going to score for fun. Polini now can't quite get through against Lannan. We're into the last 10 seconds. People start standing up. The noise is going to be crazy once this buzzer goes. Three, two, one. Milwaukee's Keys Lightning beat Nottingham Panthers on a Sunday night. Tough weekend of games. But it's Milton Keynes Lightning 5, Nottingham Panthers 1. Rich, uh, your thoughts after that? I mean, it's obviously been a tough weekend for you guys, Lightning on the back of uh, two tough games up in Belfast. Um, bit of penalty trouble there in the first couple of periods. Well, yeah, I think that was uh, part of the reason why uh, we, did, we didn't win tonight. I mean, uh, you know, you can only take so many unnecessary penalties before it comes to bite you in the ass and that's exactly what happened in the second period and uh, you know I mean we gave them momentum but we didn't create very much in the first period we didn't put them on their heels we didn't make them have to go back uh, 200 feet to get the puck and we didn't play uh, with a physical presence until the third period when uh, we started creating a little bit but by then it was too late. They certainly seem to have the momentum in that period, sort of the three-minute period in the second, you know, three-minute period of play in the second period. You know, um, what were you thinking at that point? Well, I mean, the one thing that I saw that uh, you know, anytime you, you know, you get into these games where maybe uh, you know you, you, the players take the other team a little bit lightly, and them coming off two games in Belfast, uh, you know, guys start getting a little bit individualistic, um, trying to do too much on their own with the puck instead of using their teammates. Saw that an awful lot tonight, and that was uh, part of the, you know, part of the problem in the offense. So the second part is if you don't get anybody to go stand in front of the goalie, I mean, uh, shots you get through to uh, through to the net you can make a, a goalie's night very easily. And, and uh, saw a lot of that tonight, and uh, you know, we played a pretty good game against Coventry last night. And you know it's sometimes natural that guys just think sometimes that you uh, you can put your skates on and you're and you're going to go out there and, and and beat the team. And the, there is no game in this league, and we've ex you know we've discussed that, and the players need to understand that that uh, you're only as good as your last shift. And we weren't very good tonight. Brilliant. Well, Rich, thanks so much for taking time to talk to us. Do appreciate it and uh, safe journey home. Great. Thank you very much.